the ECB is ready to do whatever it takes to preserve the euro. And believe me, it will be enough. It was in London on July the 26th when Mario Draghi, president of the ECB, put all his chips on the table ready to pull off a mighty gamble. He was letting the world know he was going to save the euro. Nothing wrong with that. Well, only one thing. He hadn't let fellow ECB officials or senior politicians in on the plan. Draghi's speech in London set off a frenzy of diplomacy. Uh, it, it, it surprised uh, virtually everyone on the board, according to our sources. And we, we, we saw uh, the French board member calling uh, the French president Francois Hollande, the German board member calling Angela Merkel, getting them together. And, uh, but this also crucially set off, uh, set off alarm bells in the Bundesbank, which has opposed Draghi's plan. Draghi was forced to, to, to meet with uh, Jens Weidmann, the head of the Bundesbank, to clear the air. It took another six weeks of hard bargaining behind the scenes before Draghi was ready to go public with more details on conditions the troubled countries have to meet in return for the ECB buying their bonds through its new outright monetary transactions program. We aim to preserve the singleness of our monetary policy and to ensure the proper transmission of our policy stance to the real economy throughout the euro area. OMTs Will, be, will enable us to address severe distortions in government bond markets which originate from, in particular, unfounded fears on the part of investors of the reversibility of the euro. Most policymakers, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel, are behind him. But there's one notable exception, Bundesbank chief Weidmann, whose opposition to more bond buying has cost Draghi public support in Europe's biggest economy. And without Germany, his plans could be doomed. So are markets convinced that Draghi has pulled off his big gamble? No, I'm not. And not because of what he's done, but because of the pushback that is coming in from the Germans and specifically from the Bundesbank. I think that that issue runs the risk of showing that this is actually limited action rather than unlimited action. And if that's the case, the market is going to have concerns that if the support for, it, uh, for Spain, that's fine. But what if Italy needs support? It's that limited ability of the ECB to act that could prove the Achilles heel to this policy. Draghi's plan certainly has bought Europe time. Now it's down to the bloc's politicians to make the most of it.